here back at you with yet another DJ Brew 2 beer review. Yeah, yeah, the voice is a little jacked up today, but that just means I need some beer. That's right. So, allergies are kicking in, but that doesn't mean I can't drink beer. Now, does it? Hell no. I've got the workout on, done the kid activities today. Oh, the voice is getting better. That means the beer is going to heal me vicariously. Vibes through the bottle. <laughs> Anyways, so it's time for a really cool something different kind of beer today. One that I've only reviewed one other in the style, and I've only had like maybe two or three, and that's a coffee IPA. That's right. And from whom do we have a coffee IPA? No, not Stone like Dayman Coffee IPA, which was pretty freaking awesome. And I believe I gave an A back in the day because it tastes like orange juice and coffee, like for breakfast, all at the same time. So, ah, today we're going to go to Flying Fish Brewery out of. Summerdale, New Jersey, U.S. of A. Yay, yay. And what beer are we going to have from them? We're going to have the Exit 15 Coffee IPA. This is from their limited series. This is the 10th installment in their limited edition series. It's an IPA, coffee IPA, whatever the hell you want to call it. It's been brewed once. It clocks in at 7.5% ABV and 85 IBUs. Now, as the 10th installment of, <clears throat> excuse me, their limited series, Exit 15, is the exit, I believe, for Hoboken. Hoboken in New Jersey is where Maxwell House Coffee used to be located. So isn't that ironic? And also in the plant that used to be the Maxwell House plant for a little while before the building was torn down, it was, in fact, a brewery, a craft brewery. So, let's talk about the beer. For malt in this, they have Pilsen, Carafoam, Maris Otter, and Wheat. That sounds awesome. I like all those kind of malts. Now, for hops in this beer, they have Citra, Cascade, Centennial, Warrior, and Azeca, which is a very, you know, popular hop these days. And the coffee in this is locally brewed, which seems to be the bill of fare for beers like this, if it has coffee in it, and is from Revolution Roasters. So, time to rip the top thingy plastic off of this as much as I can get. Let's get the top popped, get it in the glass, and tell you what's up with the Exit 15 Coffee IPA. Boom. Nice hiss off the top. This is probably, yes, an obsessively collectible flying fish crown. <clears throat> Let's get it in the glass. Oh, I can already smell the hops blasting off the top of this bad boy. I think they, you know, did the dry hopping on this with the Citra, Cascade, and Centennial. Kind of like sea cubed, if you want to call it that. We got it in our little mad elf glass, because this is kind of a mad, sort of zany sort of beer. Let's see what's up in the appearance department. It is a little bit hazy, very, very slightly, but mostly clear. Lovely golden amber color. Lots of streaming active bubbles coming up from the bottom. We've got a solid two-finger head of tightly packed around the sides, but soap sudsy bubbles overall. When I swirl it, <clears throat> the khaki head's going to leave some nice sort of sticky glass lace in there. There's actually some nice alcohol legs as well. But take a look at that beer, guys. Really nice looking in the glass. Let's see what's up with the aroma. Wow, big citrus zest, coffee punch after that, pine dankness, a bit of papaya, melon, pineapple, but big orange and coffee, orange juice and coffee, reminding me a lot of Dayman. The more whiffs of this I take as the head dissipates, <clears throat> and it seems like the bubbles are tightening up too, I'm getting more coffee. Mm, it smells like breakfast in a glass. I mean, you know, sometimes you'll have like a malty beer that you say that about, but this is an IPA that I'm saying this about. Why? Because it's like coffee and orange juice all at the same freaking time. Damn, that's a cool smelling beer. I love these coffee IPAs. The other, only other one that I've had, I think, I've had one from Tool, and I think I, I can't remember. I had one other one, but I don't remember who brewed it. The only other one, like I mentioned, that I've reviewed is this one, Dayman from Stone. And um, whoever they collab with, I can't remember. So, you know what? I'll flap my gums enough. Let's dive into this bad boy and see what's up with our lovely friend here, Exit 15. Cheers! Mm. <laughs> wow. Awesome glass lacing, just like I expected. Damn. Up in your face first, <clears throat> you're getting citrus, pine like mango-y sort of citrus and tropical fruits. And then after that, the coffee is really well balanced in there. There was no alcohol in the aroma. There's none in the taste. It's got a medium virgin or medium full body, nice viscosity to it. Really, really drinkable. Mmm. Just enough coffee in there 
that is not like overbearing or big like mega powerful coffee flavor but it's like that roasted coffee notes juxtaposing off of those citrus and tropical fruit notes and pineness and a bit of dankness in the back end this is a really tasty beer super easy to drink these type of flavors <clears throat> i suspect like with dayman uh, when I, I can remember too those flavors aren't for everyone but <clears throat> i really dig how this beer tastes wow super smooth spot on carbonation this is one of the better flying fish beers i've had i've had a, quite a few i like their rice ipa or wild rice ipa whatever it is i like their october fish not all their beers are awesome but this is a really tasty well-made beer the bitterness doesn't blow you away it's just enough well balanced and the coffee flavors add sort of like a roasty richness to complement that citrus here i'm kind of digging this let's grade this biatch what does right beer think of it? They give it a 45. Damn, the beer's making my voice better. I'm liking that. I'm drinking more. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. I'm grading. Um, beer Advocate. I was digressing. <laughs> you like that, don't you? Maybe not. Beer Advocate gives it an 88. So we got an F, a 45 from right beer. That means F for fuck off right beer. 88 for Beer Advocate. B plus. I can see that because the taste of this being, <clears throat> excuse me, coffee and citrus and IPA all at the same time might not be cool for everyone. This is a beer that you got to like these flavors to dig. I can see the B plus. Untapped is giving it 3.88 caps. I don't know how you give it 3.88, but that's your cumulative version. I'm going to give this beer an A. I, for me, I really dig these flavors. I'm going to give it a 95. Just into that A range. I think it's very well made. The alcohol is totally hidden. It's easy to drink. <clears throat> and the aftertaste is that of citrus and coffee. I like black coffee and I like orange juice and I like breakfast. So I'm digging this beer. Like I said, it might not be for everyone. But for me and my palate, I'm going for an A. Yum. That's pretty freaking awesome. So. Hmm. What is also awesome, I think, is when you think globally, drink locally, and support the craft beer movement. So more beers like Coffee IPAs hit the market from Flying Fish Brewing Company out of Summerdale, New Jersey. U.S. of A. Yeah, yay. And I also really dig when you <clears throat> rate, comment, and subscribe, especially if this is your first time with us. And you know what you got to do? You got to smash that like button. So to the next DJ BrewTube, I got nothing but a bunch of big exit 15 coffee ipa drinking love for you and you know what's coming that's right are you guys ready for it oh, yes. okay.